The Bixler 2 with its stock motor gets a bit anemic when you add landing gear and FPP gear and things like that, so I thought I'd swap out the motor and give it a bit more power. It's easy to pull the old motor mount out, it's only weakly glued in, so you just need to grab the motor and give it a bit of a wiggle and pull, and it'll eventually break free and come out. It's only mounted by two bolts, so they're easy to undo. <coughs> the new motor will be a Turnergy 2826-220kV motor, uh, and two of the mounting holes line up perfectly, but I'd rather use all four mounting holes. The Turnergy is a little bit larger diameter, a little bit longer can length as well and that shows the two bolts that line up perfectly and those two holes will need to be ex uh, elongated if you want to use all four bolts easy to do with the drill now putting the bolts back in and make sure you use loctite on those because you won't have access to them uh, once the motor mount is glued back into position So uh, that's slotting back in and I'm going to leave the motor sitting outside the foam just like that uh, for better cooling and because the uh, wires going to the ESC uh, won't fit into that space unless you cut out a slot. Here's another mo good mod you can do while you're at it. This is the uh, plastic tube that guides the wing bolt in from underneath and you can just pull that out because it really serves no purpose and that gives you more space inside um, where you can uh, fit the receiver right back there now. Here it is all glued back in now with Gorilla Glue and the ESC wires run around the outside and into that cooling slot there along the channel. ESC is mounted uh, on the top for extra cooling just cut a little hole out there and the wires run forward down through the channel into the um, cabin space. Now this shows some of the mixes I use, that's snap flaps where the, uh, the flaperons move opposite to the eleva elevator. Rudders mixed with ailerons for nicer turns and I have uh, full span flaperons for, for brakes with a little, little bit of elevator mixed in uh, to stop it ballooning. And now we're off. Takes off beautifully, only using pretty much a third power. I have a 7x4 prop on this one, which is probably over propped, uh, so I've limited the, the maximum uh, motor power to about 60%, I guess. Uh, and that keeps keeps the maximum current draw down to about 28 amps. I've removed the flap servos and just taped the uh, ailerons and flaps together, so I've now got full span flapperons.